you get a male hog nose or a female hog nose? Well, let's get right into it. Let me show you a male first, uh, a full grown adult male. And I'm going to show you my albino if he doesn't bite me. Are you going to be nice? Are you going to be nice? Or are you going to bite? Huh? What's it going to be, buddies? Huh, pajarito? I don't want to get bit today, guys. All right, well, as you can see, this is a male. And I'm going to weigh him for you. Let's take out the handy dandy uh, scale. Just so you guys can see a size comparison. Are you just going to hang around? No, but he's in feeding response. So until he real, uh, he's hungry. I think he smells the, the mice in the room. Just don't bite me, please. I don't feel like getting bit. All right, we're going to use his... Uh... Ah, look at all the mess. Come on. Uh, Tara. All right, let's see how much he weighs. Are you going to bite me? Okay. I just don't feel like getting bit, guys. All right. So he's a whopping 65 grams. And yeah, that's average for a male, guys. So that's average for a male. As you could see, like, males were, are, are only going to get that big. Uh, they're not going to get, um, they're not going to get much bigger than that. So that's about it. And low battery, of course. Yeah, so my phone's on low battery, guys. Um. So I'll just make this video, but yeah, this is a male. He's gonna be about, you know, they uh, they don't get very long. They probably get about 16, 18 inches long. Uh, but they don't get they don't get the two the 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 the, the two feet long. No way. So yeah, guys. So that's a male right there, and I'm gonna do a feeding for you, just so you guys can see what size of food that the males eat. All right. So let's go ahead and get our handy dandy spatulas obviously they're not going to eat this so they're going to be a lot more um inexpensive to feed and maintain because that's all they eat basically that's all they eat just the fuzzy so let's go ahead and get it on video yep you see so that's basically what they eat right there chomp 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 so whatever a fuzzy costs once a week, that's what the uh, once they get adult and once they get adult, then that's really all they're gonna take. So 65 grams, about 16 inches long, um, not too big. They, you know, they stay stay relatively small. Um, uh, the the feeding is gonna be less expensive. The enclosure is gonna be smaller because they're not as big. Um, so. So you tell me, guys, is it worth getting a male? Now we're going to go check out the female. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> All right. Yeah, so he's almost done uh, chomping on the fuzzy. He's a chomper. Yeah, what do you guys think? So there you have it. Come on. No. Let's see if we can get the inside of his mouth. Whoa. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So, bye. Bye, Mousy. We didn't even use this. So, let's go ahead and flip it again. Hopefully, he doesn't regurge on us. Yeah, so the only bad thing about uh, males is that when they smell uh, females, they'll sometimes go off, off feed because they want to breed. Um, so that's just a typical behavior uh, for males. So they will uh, they will go off uh, food. 
So just something to watch out for. Um, price difference, unless you're in the high end morphs like Swiss chocolate and morphs that are new, a male is going to be expensive. 80, 90% of all the rest of the morphs and combinations out there, um, the females are more expensive. So you can get into a male a little less um, cheaper uh, uh, than you would be able to get a female. So with that in mind, let's go over to a female. So let's go over to a female. So this is, um, let's go ahead and get this one. So I have them uh, ready to eat. So this is, uh, you know, this is a relatively smaller, on the smaller end female, um, you see, but they're a little bigger, you know, they're a little bigger. And um, they're a little bit more expensive. Uh, typically a female is going to be just, you know, a couple hundred uh, more expensive than than your average male. So let's go ahead and weigh her and see how much she weighs. Um, Tara, and I'm sorry about my mess, guys. I'm actually getting ready to swap out all the, all the substrate and just getting ready to do a nice, really deep clean on everything and everyone. So, yeah, she's 186. So, like I said, she's on the smaller side. Um, usually, they're going to be about 200, 250 and she's about 185 grams so um she is three years old and but she's good she's nice and and meaty and she's healthy um she looks great she slithers she has nice body structure and there you have her so the my comments oh let's go ahead and feed her so you guys could see so you guys already saw the size of the mouse for a male and a female what i do with my So a female is going to eat something like this, you know. Um, she could, you know, once they're 250 grams and, you know, they can eat a, a full-grown adult adult mouse, a max mouse. Um, but, yeah, I just kind of give her something around. So those two are, like, the biggest. So I'll go ahead and just, you know, give her something nice and big. So let's see. Let's see if we can make her chase it. Agarrate, Marcos, because it's going to go after you. Let's see if we can get her feeding response to chase it. Let's see if we can get her to chase the mouse. There we go. There we go. Over here. Over here. <laughs> yeah, we need, a, we need more training. For her to chase the mouse. Definitely more training. There we go. I, I just love it when they grab it head on. Because it just makes it for a lot easier and smooth ride. And Ain't that right, Marcos? See? Yes. So, so there you have it, guys. So a female is going to max out about, you know, 300 grams. Obviously, there's bigger uh, females than that. The only difference, obviously, they're bigger. So if you want a bigger snake, you're going to have to buy a bigger enclosure, um, uh, bigger food, just uh, bigger poops. So uh, the bigger, you know, the more food, the more poops, um, the more expensive it's going to be. Um, at, at, even if they're babies, they're going to be a little bit more expensive than males. You know, other than that, they're going to be a little bit, if, if you don't plan on breeding them, then I do just, you know, suggest getting a male because a male is going to be less complicated to keep. Um, they're oviparous, so when they when they um, give birth to eggs, because the eggs like a, a ex like an external placenta, then, you know, a female can have, uh, technically can have more complications because they're reproductive organs. Uh, they're still uh, creating... Uh, egg egg you know egg follicles inside so they're gonna they're gonna ovulate right they're gonna ovulate they're gonna make the eggs um so that can cause some uh difficulties in just females uh, you know it's not it's not common but just like anything it, it is a possibility uh the females tend to 
you know, uh, 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 suffer a little bit more in that sense. Um, they have their glands, you know, at the bottom of their tail, they have glands, um, their musk glands. And uh, sometimes uh, I've noticed that females have a worse um, a problem with musk glands than, than males. So definitely things to, you know, consider. Um, more expensive vet visit if you take it to the vet. I imagine because there's more, it's more, uh, it's a more complex uh, reproductive system then you know you might you might just consider that you know budgeting vet visits and stuff like that you know knock on wood hopefully it never happens but you know just uh, throwing out that information for you guys well guys hope you guys enjoyed the video um i i, I fed both a male and a female that was an albino conda and that was just an albino male which he's eyeballing you guys because he wants more food and just a little bit of the differences between male or female. So if you're not going to breed, then I would just go with the male because they're more inexpensive. They're less, com they're less complicated in the sense that their reproductive organs have less going on. Um, they, t they technically, theoretically, statistically, however you look at it, are going to be less expensive and all the way around. Their enclosure is smaller. They require less, less amount of food, less mass. Um, not less frequent, I'm just saying the smaller meals, they require less substrate, less heating, less, all of that stuff. Uh, you know, if females are bigger, um, but yeah, if you guys are into, into wh whether I should get a male or a female, I'm, I just want a hog nose. I don't want to breed them. Um, also males are more available. Like usually breeders are looking for females. And people who don't breed and just want them as pets, well, there is a male overage. Um, there, you know, there's a surplus for males. So that's also a, a, a good, you know, discount because there's a surplus, right? So when the, demand, when the demand is less than the quantity, then you're going to be able to afford it a little better. Well, that's enough of me rambling on. Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, stay tuned. I got more stuff coming out. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Leave a comment. Um, leave a comment in the section below. And until next one, have a good one, guys.